That brings us to the HSPA Central Parent Portal login page. Now, if you know your email address that we have at the school here for the primary caregiver of your student, just type that email address in there and your password if you've logged into Central before. If not, type in the email address that you gave to the school and hit forgot password here. That'll send an email to your email address allowing you to change the password and then come back to this page and log in using those details. If you have forgotten your password, you'll receive an email that looks something like this. Click on this link here and that will take you to a page where you can reset your password. Once you've got those details, click sign in. Once you've logged into the portal, you'll arrive at a screen that looks something like this uh, with your student or students identified on the front page here. The first thing that you should do is add the family student access key. Uh, the family access key will have been emailed to you and it'll come in an email that looks something like this. The access key you're looking for is in the middle in bold letters. What you need to do is copy that key exactly. Not this one on the screen because that's for a specific student. And then paste that key into the add key section here and click add key. Once you've done that, your student will be tied to your central login account which allows you access to their courses in Canvas. It's important to note that you will have to wait 24 hours after adding that key before you'll be able to see any of your students courses in Canvas. While we're in the central portal we'll have a quick look around. To have a look at details of a student just click on the student's name. That will bring you to this screen where you can see daily notices. It's holidays at the moment so there's none in there today. Uh, that's from the dashboard or we can go to the timetable to have a look at the daily timetable. We'll come back to resources in a moment. We can go to attendance to see their record of attendance. We can go to wellbeing to see any wellbeing notifications or reporting to have a look at school reports. Click on the link there to access a school report or school records to have a look at NAPLAN results. Back up here in resources, if we click on that, this is how we access Canvas. So if you go to resources and down here you'll notice there's a link that says HSPA Canvas Parent Access. And it does say there click forgot password at first login. Do not click login with Microsoft account. That will make more sense when we look at the next screen. So I'm going to click on that now. Which brings me to this screen. This is the forgot password link here that I referred to. The first time you log in here you're going to have to click forgot password. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your email address, the same email address you use for the central portal, and hit request password. Once you've done that, you'll receive an email with a link that takes you to a page where you can reset your password. Uh, when you reset your password, you'll be able to come back to this page, enter your central email address, and the new password you've just created, and hit login. If your login is tied correctly to your student's central account and Canvas account, you should now land on the HSPA Canvas dashboard. This is the Canvas dashboard we're looking at at the moment. This student only has two courses that they're enrolled in. A secondary student may have anything up to 15, 16 courses, one for each of the subjects that they're enrolled in. If when you log in for the first time to Canvas, you don't see any courses here associated with your student, uh, there's a couple of reasons why that might happen. The first thing I would ask you to do is to wait 24 hours and then try again. Uh, once you enter that key, it does take 24 hours for the sync to happen between Central and Canvas, which associates you as a parent with the student course. After 24 hours, if you're still not seeing any courses there, if you could send an email to this address here with the subject line Canvas Access, we will look into it further from the school level and get you sorted out really quickly. Once you are logged in and seeing all of your students' courses correctly, the first thing you might want to do is go to account on the top left hand side here and from here you can go to profile. You can change your profile picture if you'd like but the main thing you really need to look at is notifications. This is where you set up how you'll be notified for different things that happen in Canvas. Up the top here you can see a key that gives you an idea of what these icons mean on the right hand side here. So we've got the option of being notified right away when a change is made in Canvas. Uh, being sent a daily summary of all of the changes made in Canvas for your student or being sent a weekly summary or not being sent anything at all. For a lot of these you're probably going to want to choose do not send me anything but maybe for things like due date, announcements, um, discussion posts, 
you might want to set those as a daily summary or perhaps a push notification to let you know right away that something's changed in a Canvas course. They can become overwhelming if you leave everything turned on, um, but you can customize that and come back into that account. Notifications, any time to change that and turn off or on anything that you'd like more notifications for. If we go to settings, you'll see you've got an option of adding a contact method. If you wanted to add a phone number there, you can receive push notifications via text uh, as well. Back to the dashboard here, this is our main area. And from here, we can select any course that we want to have a look at and go in and look at the courses exactly as a student would see them. And that's the front page of the Year 6 primary course. Inside the course, we can have a look at all sorts of different things. There are assignments there. If we click on there, you'll see the assignment due dates, uh, discussions, any discussions that are happening within the class will appear there. Marks, we can get an overview of marks that have been allocated via Canvas. Syllabus shows an overview of due dates for the course. Quizzes contain any quizzes that have been set up for that particular course. Britannica School Australia is a research tool that we use here at HSPA. Google Drive and Office 365 allow access to uh, student Google accounts and Office 365 accounts. They will only work if you're logged in as a student though. The other thing that's worth pointing out definitely is the calendar. If we go to the calendar view, uh, on here if this student had any assignments coming up in this month, they would be showing here. We can also have a look at that as an agenda, which would list any tasks and requirements coming up in that course. Important to note that students or yourself can add items to the calendar, the student calendar, just by double clicking on a square there. And you could add events to the calendar if you wanted to. Probably best not to clutter that up too much. So for secondary students, all formal events and assessments will appear on their calendar. Uh, they'll be set by their teacher. You can see it appears in their calendar just there. Uh, another thing worth pointing out with the calendar is you can go to the calendar feed here by copying that link and pasting it into Google Calendar, iCal or Outlook. Uh, it will synchronize this calendar with uh, the calendar on mobile phones and devices, etc. or your Google Calendar. I'll just give a quick overview of a secondary Canvas page because there are some elements which are common across all of the secondary school pages. And we refer to those as the top six. These six buttons at the top of the home page here are common to every Canvas course in secondary school. The first one you'll find there is the scope and sequence. And in there, students can access at least a yearly scope and sequence, and in some cases, a weekly scope and sequence as well. That gives an overview of what's happening from week to week in a course. By clicking on the assessment schedule, students can go to and see their assessment schedule, which is an overview of the tasks, the weightings, uh, if it's a stage six course, Outcomes and the due dates are there as well. Assessment tasks will take you to the assessment, the assignment section of Canvas. By clicking on that, they'll be taken to a page with a link to all of their formal assessment tasks for that particular course. This one down here is the NISA button. Clicking on that should take students to the NISA page for their course, where they'll find the syllabus, assessment requirements, and any of the NISA mandated documentation. The personal Google Apps button will take them to their personal Google Apps page. Clicking on that brings them to the Google Apps for Education page and they've got access to Google Docs, Drive, Sheets, Slides and a whole range of Google Apps there that they get. As well as the personal OneDrive button there on the right hand side which is Microsoft's answer to the Google Apps for Education. Uh, students of the Department of Education gain access to that for free. They've got OneDrive, Word, Excel. PowerPoint, OneNote, there are a whole lot of online apps there uh, which allow for collaboration and working online. Down the left hand side we still have that common menu. Discussions are used fairly regularly. If we click on there we'll see the discussions for the course. Announcements is a place where teachers can send out important announcements related to the course and students can reply to those announcements just like they can in discussions. One of the most important pages in Canvas is the syllabus view and if we click on the syllabus view students are provided with an overview of the course these are all the important due dates for this particular course 
Anything with assessment task written in capital letters uh, indicates that it is an assessment task and it's formal. Uh, the, due, the time that they're due by is down the side here. Some of these are just classwork activities that are due by certain times. They might be in the form of discussions or they might require formal uploads, all sorts of things. Down the right-hand side there we can see the weightings for the different tasks. And by clicking on any of these links, we are taken directly to the task. So we've got dates, task, time that it's due, and the weighting of each task. And that's all on the syllabus page. So that's a quick overview of the HSPA Parent Canvas setup. You'll notice down the right-hand side here, the um, any calendar events come up as are coming up. In, for secondary students in particular, this right-hand column will give a list of all of the required tasks, etc., that are coming up in the next couple of weeks, uh, which is a really handy tool. Thanks for watching.